My name is Ryan Sears. Uh, I work for Alti Equipment. I'm gonna show you today the new 55Z from JCB. So starting in the back, uh, JCB, when they redesigned these new minis, they really focused on serviceability. So you see a battery is right up front, right here. Your fuel water separator, your diesel fill is here, hydraulic fill, and you all have a uh, battery disconnect, okay? There's also the air filters here, and another cool thing that JCB does is all your hoses are gonna be color-coded. So if they go through a bulkhead, you're gonna know which hose to take off on the other side of the bulkhead. They also have right up here a grease gun holder uh, that we can provide you. We're gonna go right to the side here. This is a 48 horsepower J, uh, JCB by Kohler. It's a Kohler engine. Uh, has no DPF, no def fluid, uh, and again, super serviceable. So you have your AC compressor, your alternator, uh, your slew greasing is right here every 200 hours. Uh, winch wiper fill, another secondary fuel filter right here, uh, and a huge Kawasaki hydraulic pump. Okay. Uh, very unique on the stick, moving to the stick here, is 500 hour grease intervals. How they get away with that is these bronze fittings have the graphite impregnated. Uh, so it is a true 500 hour grease interval on these machines. Uh, this particular unit uh, has the halogen work lights up top. It also is equipped with a hydraulic coupler. And on these particular ones, we have brought in the AMI attachments with a tapered thumb. Uh, really good uh, company here. They have two year warranty with ESCO teeth on all their buckets. Uh, just a really good, well built thumb attachment. This particular model is equipped with high flow and standard flow hydraulics. Uh, and coming to the blade here, you can get it with a standard blade or a four-way blade. Uh, and I, I really want you to focus on this blade here. If you look how well built it is, it is extremely robust. JCB put a lot of time into their bottoms. There's a lot of weight here, so it keeps the weight at a low center of gravity. Uh, even the lift cylinders, look how big they are, and then you know, your coats on this gear. Uh, they also equipped it with a uh, cylinder guard here that is standard on the JCB. Moving around, you will have the this light right here on the side. This is a little strobe light for when you're using the hydraulic disconnect, which I'll get into you know in a few minutes here. Uh, and then they have unique piping here. All the piping is, is about six feet. And then there's sections of hoses. That way you never have to replace the whole uh, hydraulic hose when you're going through, okay? This cab is a redesign. It came out in 2018. It's a very big cab. It's actually the same cab on our 50Z, which is your 11,000 pound machine, all the way up to your 22,000 pound machine, which is 100C, okay? They all have you can get them equipped with heated seats, air suspension seats. This one is just a mechanical suspension, uh, but it has a Bluetooth radio, heat AC, uh, all those flip over, flip over uh, feet here, and uh, it makes a nice big roomy cab. Okay, coming up into the cab, it does have ISO or SAE control pattern changeover. Your front windows, of course, open. And then your bottom window here, you can actually take out and there's a bracket right here that slides in, you know, if you want that, that, uh, that window out of the way. Okay. So we'll start the machine. There we go. This particular model has two speed and it also has dozer float and obviously the four way stick. It is equipped with dual hydraulics. So one side, you will have your thumb control, but you can manually adjust that. And then if you click your diverter on the left joystick, you'll hear a three second beep. And now that will change to your boom swing. You have 70 degrees one way, 50 degrees on the other way. Lower that. So you have uh, 
a whole bunch of modes here. There's eco mode, and then there's H plus mode, so that will max out your engine RPMs for you know, maximum big power, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to take the bucket on and off on this particular machine. It's very simple. If you bring the camera over here, I'll show you the buttons. So when you have your hydraulics on, this rear button right here, you're gonna press this button, and then you're gonna have within three seconds, you have to press the hydraulic to go button. And now your strobe light is gonna light on the stick here, red. And now what the screen is telling you to do is to tilt the bucket. You crowd the bucket all the way up, and you hold pressure for about three seconds. The bucket will unlock, there you go. You curl right out of it. And that is it. Now you curl back in, and all you gotta do is press your hydraulic button again, and it will lock on its own, okay? Very simple hydraulics, uh, and it's a really great feature. You can get this model with a mechanical coupler as well. We just don't bring it in with that, but you can get it on the 50. Okay. Uh, the Bluetooth radio is mounted back here with two speakers over your shoulder and your heat and AC controls are in the rear. Okay. Um, that's that's pretty much the walk around of the 55. Great little machine. Uh, it is again a 12,000 pound machine. Very well built and uh, we've had tremendous luck with them.